Olivia, are you done sweeping? I need you to go get some new merchandise from the back and put it in the store. We're gonna have a large influx of people coming off the beach today and I wanna be ready. Yes, Aunt Janice, I'm almost done. Okay, I need you to check everything in and tag it, except for there's a box that's gonna be somewhere in the pile. That's not for sale. I want you to put that in my office and please do not open it. Olivia, is this how we're going to start work today? Olivia! Do you hear me? What is wrong with you? Get yourself up on the floor. I need your help in the front and your aunt needs you to bring all this merchandise in. Charlie, this compass thingy just electrocuted me. I swear, it shocked me so hard I fell. What are you talking about? Isn't this the box that Janice specifically told you not to open? Teenagers, I swear, never listen to anything you tell them to do. I didn't hear her say anything about a box. That box that's right next to you? It's supposed to go in her office. Just maybe. You should start listening so you can do as you're told. I'm gonna get your aunt. Olivia, what's going on? I really need your help today. The store's about to open. I now understand why your parents are frustrated with you and why they sent you here with me this summer. You don't follow instructions very well. You seem to want to do whatever you want, whenever you want. That can't happen here. There are consequences to your not listening, young lady. There are many items in the store that are one of a kind and priceless. I'm not two years old. You don't have to tell me twice to get me to do what you want. But it's not my fault. When I opened the dumb box, it shocked me. And the reason I came here this summer is because I needed to get away from my family and my stupid little sisters. They were all driving me crazy, treating me like I was a little kid. I'm not a kid anymore. Charlie, I don't know what kind of magic this compass has in it, but whatever is there, Olivia definitely just experienced it. Hmm. There's a note here from Athena. Please keep this compass away from everyone. Do not let anyone near it. It has serious magic in it. I have no way of contacting Athena unless she comes through the gateway in the pond. We have to keep a close eye on Olivia. If you see anything, anything strange, please let me know right away. Well, that's super. I get to babysit an angst teenager. Great. Besides, she was attracted to the box for a reason. Only keepers can feel magic. You know what that means, right? Olivia is a future keeper. Like you. <laughs> you want to retire, right? I think you just found your answer. Your niece has the power of the keeper.
Do you think Athena did this on purpose? That she sent the box to me with the magic compass so that Olivia would touch it? Sure I do. Athena doesn't do anything just because. Oh, she always has a purpose behind everything she does. Oh. Think about it. How do we get a non-believing teenage girl to believe in magic? I think Athena just gave you a present. Oh. But about the babysitting thing. Like really? Mm. Like I don't have too much stuff to do around here. But nah. I chose to follow my dreams. Be an artist. A free thinker. A believer in magic. I heard you were staying in my aunt's office. You don't have to babysit me. I know how to get my work done and I can do everything around here you do. Well then get to work. Things need dusting, some things need to be moved around. Fill in the gaps where things were sold. And stop eavesdropping on people. I don't need your lips flapping anymore. Charlie, not funny at all. I don't know how you're doing it, but it's not funny at all. I'm going outside. When I come back, you need to stop all this nonsense. Olivia. For you. Me? You're talking to me? Yes, you. Come sit down. Oh my gosh, you're a mermaid? And I thought coming outside would help me stop seeing things. Oh, you poor child. What's the matter? You've never seen a mermaid before. <laughs> you work in a store where mermaids bring all their found treasure. And your aunt is so kind to sell it for us. I'm not talking to a mermaid, and you do not exist. I'm having heat stroke. I'm going back inside. Charlie, there's a mermaid outside, sitting by the pond. I mean, I'm serious. What are you talking about? Just come out here. Olivia, can't you see I'm working? I have a lot of stuff to do around here. Charlie, please come out here. Good God, Olivia. Look, I don't have time to waste like this. Stop playing your games and go back to work. Fine. Don't believe me then. Hi there. You ran away like you saw a ghost last time. I'm sorry I scared you. What? Be right back. Don't move from that spot, okay? Whatever you do, don't move. I'll be here when you come back. Yes, we have all different kinds of mermaid magic. Yes, we have the treasure boxes. Yes, absolutely. We're open until six. Okay, see you then, thank you. 
What's the problem now? I need you to come outside and see something. A mermaid named Athena. Did you say Athena? Did you see her? Yes, I saw her. Charlie thinks I'm making this all up, but she's there. She said that everything in here comes from the bottom of the sea, from mermaids. This must be Charlie's idea of a joke, because mermaids don't exist. I think I'm going crazy. No, you're not. What aren't you telling me? First, I get zapped by an old compass. Then I'm hearing voices and seeing mermaids. This, this can't just be my imagination. Something's going on here. Everything that you've been experiencing is real. I know it's hard to believe in magic, but it does exist. We have many things in this store that have magic. Mermaid magic. So you're telling me that everything I've been experiencing today is real? Even the mermaid outside? I want to go outside and see if she's still there. I need to see you actually talk to her. I think it's time, Janice. She deserves the full story. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. I knew it. The moment I tried to show you, she's gone. So I'm just insane then. It's not magic. I'm just crazy. I think it's time, Janice. She deserves the full story. Athena, you can stop hiding. Come out. You started this whole thing by sending her the box. The least you can do is show yourself. Athena, don't make me come look for you. You know I'll find you. I'm over here. You don't have to get so upset. I had to do what I did. Otherwise, you never would have taken it upon yourself to tell her the family legacy. What does that mean? Olivia, meet Athena, queen mother of all the mermaids, from the north and the south, the east and the west. She's our family friend. You come from a long line of keepers. Keepers? Are you and Charlie keepers? Charlie's not a keeper, but I am, and you will be. What does that mean? We have the job of reporting the history of the mermaids. We accept their gifts, and then we offer them those enchanted items to the rest of the world. I'm not the first one. How can this be? Many generations ago, your great-great-grandmothers saved a great mermaid, Michaela, from a sailor on her father's fishing ship. There was a hurricane, and she got caught in the nets. The sailors were very surprised. Back then they were very superstitious and they thought that she had caused the storm. So when our ancestor saved her, that started the partnership of the keepers. Olivia, when you touched that compass this morning, the electricity that you felt, it was magic. That's why you've been hearing things all day. <laughs> Look. I'm sorry I put the magic in the compass like that. It was the only way I knew how to get you to come forward with the truth. Look, you want to retire, and the only way to do so is to move the magic to the next female of age in the family, and that's Olivia. Me? But, but I'm just some kid. I know I say I'm 
all grown up and all, but I still have annoying parents and bratty sisters. Are you sure it's supposed to be me? I know it's a lot to take in, but even if you tried to ignore it, the magic would just drive you crazy. It's so much easier just to embrace it. Besides, you have to admit that it's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah, real cool. Not entirely bizarre and life-altering at all. You cannot tell your parents or your sisters about this. Over the next five years, I'm going to need to spend time with you and teach you and train you so that you can take over. Wait, does this mean my sisters are keepers too? No, it doesn't work that way. There can only be one keeper and apprentice at a time. And you must be touched by the magic, like you were today. Look, I know you're not thrilled about this. But you'll discover it's pretty fun being a keeper. Plus, you get to be friends with all the mermaids and learn all their secrets. This is all too much. I told you she wouldn't be an easy sell. It's gonna be a long road with this child. It's just a lot to take in, Charlie. Here's a gift to welcome you to the family. I have complete faith in you, Olivia. The only question is, do you? And I thought this was going to be a boring summer.